Hey guys, it's Rachel here from Rachel Reads. I just finished filming the booktube reading test taste tag, so that should be out by now. Go and check it out. I will link it up the top there. I am going to be doing a vlog today. I'm a bit nervous about it because I've never vlogged and I don't have a tripod or anything. I'm just holding my iPhone and my arm is already kind of dead. Um, but I wanted to try this because I have a fair bit planned today and I'm getting out of the house and let me just pop this up here so I don't have to hold the weight. So I'm getting out of the house today. I have to get into work. Um, if you didn't know, it's the school holidays at the moment. I have been off work for the last two months on sick leave, so I have a lot to get caught up on before school goes back in about two weeks. So I'll take you along there. I won't, um, it'll probably be one of the only times that you actually get to vlog at work because there won't be anyone there. We have communal offices and all the spaces are communal, so um, most people wouldn't really like to be included in that sort of thing. So I will show you around my office and show you my photocopying and all that sort of stuff. Then I'm going out for lunch and I might stop by the bookstore on the way home and pick up some new books. I'm going to go pack my bag and get ready because it's already 9.40 and I know some of my work friends were getting there, getting, planning to get to work at 9 o'clock and it takes me about 45 minutes to drive there. I probably could have been there by 9am if I hadn't decided to film and if I hadn't pressed snooze a couple of times, but it is the school holidays, so, you know, let's sleep in while we've still got the chance. Before I leave, I might show some of the shopping that I picked up. So, before I head out, I just want to show you how messy my library is at the moment and explain a few things to you. So, if you can see all of that mess so that's all of the plastic bags that I've I've bought books with they're all my historical fiction books that need to go on this bookshelf that I just haven't had time to put that's just my computer that I'm taking and they down there are some books that I need to haul in the corner over there are the thrift, st thrift store books from my last haul <laughs> Then I've got some random clothes and a random light. But what I did want to show you was I ordered some more of these bookshelves, the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. I ordered a double set and I'm really hoping that it's going to fit in this space here. But now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that they're going to fit. So what I might do is take out this glass one and put that where this writing cabinet is move the writing cabinet to this bookshelf and move this bookshelf over by the window and then have the double bookshelf there. Let me know what you think because I don't know and the bookshelf is supposed to be getting here in like two days. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go show you the shopping that I purchased. Well, that glare is really bad. I'm going to show you the shopping that I purchased yesterday. It's not much. It's just a book and a new journal. Then I'm going to pack my bag and then we're going to head off. Okay. So right, I'm just in my bedroom at the moment. I'm going to put the blinds. Okay, that's a bit better. So I'm in my bedroom at the moment. Excuse the mess. But this is what I bought yesterday. So I went to Kiki K. If you are not familiar, Kiki K is like a stationery shop. So there we go. And I'm going to open this. I can't get it open. Okay. I got it. It just didn't wasn't strong enough. So I picked up this journal here and I got it monogrammed here, as you can see, with some pretty rose gold um, detailing. So it's got my initials, RM. And this is just a journal and I'm going to use this to plan out my YouTube videos. I originally wanted to get a bullet journal, but then I was thinking, do I really have the time to spend on a bullet journal? I would be much better just using this to make lists with. I also got from Kiki K. Um, just a pretty rose gold pen. 
that I'm going to use with that. I'm hoping it's blue, but I think it's black, which, you know, I like blue pen. And the other thing I picked up yesterday was I went to Demex. Of course I did, because I can't possibly go near a Demex and not go in. So if you don't know, Demex is one of the bigger bookstores here in Australia. It's one of the only ones we really have left, to be honest. We have a couple of others, but it's the probably the biggest one. And I picked up this book here, which is Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson. Um, this one just kind of stood out to me. I went in to use my points because I had a five dollar voucher, but they were closing and the guy was kind of grumpy and he didn't he, like he didn't put it through. But oh well. And I will haul that properly in my next um, my next haul. But I wanted to show you what I picked up from shopping. So now bag packing, shoes on, and then heading to work. Okay, it's a couple of minutes later. I've got my keys. I've got my bag all packed. Switching off all the lights. Now where are my shoes? Here's some shoes that I can wear. This is going to be so boring for you guys to watch. I reckon this is going to get no views on my channel, but oh well, it's a way to make my day a bit more interesting. Setting me along. Okay, so it actually is really sunny at the moment. It's only like eight degrees Celsius, but look at all that sun. Please. Don't touch my car. It is so messy. I will show you. I hate that when you're videoing, you can't flip the perspective. Like, you can do that on Snapchat. Why can't you do it on... And so I'm going to sign off here in a moment, but it'll take me about 45 minutes to get to work. Maybe a little bit less because it's 10 o'clock, so the traffic should be dying down by now. When I get there, hopefully I'll remember to vlog and not be too nervous and yeah okay so i'm gonna chuck some music on and i will see you soon so it's literally so it's literally 10 seconds later i was driving out the driveway and then i noticed all the bins in the street and i remembered that it's bin day and i haven't taken out the bins yet so i'm going to go do that and then i'll see you all work. i just got back from putting the bin in and if you can see there in the back window that's the bin man coming to pick up the rubbish. So good thing I left now or it would not have gotten picked up and I would have probably got in trouble because bins are my responsibility and I've forgotten a few times and we've run out of space since. Yeah, not good. Okay, I can't vlog for too long because there's someone else in the office today, unfortunately. But I'll show you what I'm doing and then I'll give you an update in a minute. So. What I have done is I've just written out my to-do list. So I've got to type up my timetable, print some rubrics, print goal sheets, make example interactive notebook, write extras, plan for Monday, update calendar, tidy my desk and meeting, um, put the meeting schedule. And by tidy my desk, like this is what happens when you haven't been here for two weeks. It's just a mess. And that's what I'm going to be working on now. And these are my interactive notebooks. And this is my desk, this is my little office for my team. So yeah, it is now, it's 10.40, so I'm hoping to be out of here by about 1 to go for lunch. It's freezing, so I've just put the heater on. Um, and yeah, I'll give you an update next time I can. Wish me luck. Okay, just a quick update on what I am, what I've gotten done. We just typing up my meeting schedule that should say term three not term two and I have updated my timetable with my new classes so that is what my old timetable looked like that is the old meeting schedule I think I prefer my new timetable and then I've updated my calendar so it was still back in May and I've written the week numbers in as well. So it is currently 11 o'clock so you know it's been 20 minutes and I have made some slight progress. Um, 
but nothing too substantial. This is stuff I probably could have got at home, but I, I'm procrastinating because oh, I can't be bothered leaving this room because it's so warm and I'm so cold. It's like 10 degrees outside even though that it's sunny. But I better get back to it. I will update you again in a little bit. show you when I just got printed um, so this is like all of my paperwork that students will get in the first day of school um, I'm teaching year 10 biology year 10 sorry not year 10 literature not teaching that this semester because the class got collapsed um, I'm teaching two lots of year 9 humanities and year 9 English so if you're not a teacher you might not be aware but year nines are quite tricky they're very moody um, so it's going to be a very interesting semester. So this is all my paperwork here. There's about, we'll say 400 sheets there, not that it looks that much. It's got laid all out here. I should have bought some paper clips, but I forgot. Um, I'm hoping that's all the printing I need to do. I spent, so we get $200 a month and I'm down to $178. So what's that? $22 my printing credit for the month. At least this is only a two week month when we get back to school, so it shouldn't be too bad. When I was away sick, um, a few of my friends were borrowing my printing card. Um, so I don't know what the office lady thought when I was magically printing things from home, but yeah. That's um, a bit of an update. Okay, so it's almost 12 o'clock and I'm just going to get um, some sheets for my interactive notebook. You can see my school just behind me here. Um, I'm trying not to vlog too much in public because I am technically at work while I'm not getting paid and this is a volunteer day. Um, it is still kind of weird. So yeah, um, I think the plan is to go for lunch in about half hour, 40 minutes. I haven't really done much to deserve lunch, but I'm hungry so I can always come back I suppose. So I was walking and I just ran into my principal and he pulled me aside, he's like, oh, it's so good to see you, I can't wait to have you back. And then he's like, take some more exercise books. And then, like, one thing he always talks to me about is football. And he's like, oh, you know, the reason I know this is because I saw your Port Adelaide um, lanyard and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to be back after missing about two months worth of work. I was in on Friday, so I saw people then, but, um, yeah, it's still nice to... Missed. Okay, another quick update. Just me whizzing around on my chair. Spread out most of the hair that I need to paperclip. I'm about to start putting together my interactive notebook. So it will need a front cover. You'll have a table of contents. Then it will have a rubric and a goal sheet. So this is the first time we've used interactive notebooks so I want to make an example for my students um, and it will give me a chance to get my texter oh. 
all of you that are watching this because it's on booktube i apologize that this isn't a particularly bookish vlog um but you know you get to see a little bit more of my life um i am a teacher and i quite like watching teaching vlogs this will not be something that i do regularly as i said it's just too hard to vlog at work because i'm in such a public space um but yeah let's get this done and i will show you my interactive notebooks when they're finished <laughs> So slight update since I last spoke to you all. Um, I went out for lunch and I've been back for about half an hour and I'm working on my interactive notebooks. Now I'm just going to the bathroom um, and I'll check in with you before I leave. And I'm planning on being here for about another hour or so. And more copying. Okay, last job of today is to clean my desk, which is what I'm working on now. I'm just cleaning out all of this crap, put it in my drawers, all the paper that I've collected since God knows when, books that need to be turned. I'm literally just chucking everything. It's a new semester, so really I shouldn't need any resources from last semester. If there is anything, I should have already filed it. Um, otherwise it's just going, it's, sorry, otherwise it's just going. Um, so finally, is this the universal remote? Um, I've worked at this school almost two years and we've always had to borrow these from the library and there's been like a dozen so you need these to use the projector which you pretty much use every day. They've finally given us their own ones to use and we don't have to go and hire them anymore so god bless. Book I need to go home for a Okay, so that's probably as tidy as it's gonna get. There's stuff that I need to clean out. I just don't have time. Time right now. Um, yeah, so I, don't ha I just don't have time to do some of the things that I need to do right now. So that'll have to get done during term time, which is fun. Take these two books home for a video that I'm going to film. I'm going to film a video about books I never read if I wasn't a teacher. And these two both um fit into that category so i'm going to take those home to finish that video um i might go check my pigeonhole oh i was going to show you my um interactive notebooks okay give me two seconds i'm going to show you the english one because that's the one i did first and was least hurried for okay give me two secs and so rmo is my teacher code it's for year nine english interactive notebook so the students will make their own front covers. I didn't see the need for that. I might print something off. Then they have their table of contents. So we've got their goal sheets, their rubrics, and then their five-step conferencing process. So, so it really isn't anything particularly special just yet. Um, however, it should start to come together when we start working on them next term. Um, it is now. 
10 to 3 so I really need to get a move on I'm going to pack my stuff up I need to go and speak to Brad who's one of my colleagues he wants to show me some lessons and then I'm going home let me just quickly show you how much printing I did today that's how much printing I did it is so ridiculous but it's all filed away nicely I'm going to clean up this desk and then I'm going home to get myself a little treat for working throughout the school holidays. I hope that you're enjoying this vlog. I have no idea what I've actually captured. I'm so ridiculously tired. I don't know if I told you that I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, I've tried to cover up these bags with concealer, but yeah. So I'm gonna go get myself a treat, maybe if I can find anything, and then I'm gonna head home, have a nap, and then do some editing. So catch you on the flip side. I just got to the shopping centre. I'm about to go into Kmart and have a wander around. I don't know how much I'll vlog, depending on how busy it is. There's not usually many people in the book section, so we'll see how we go. Okay, it's not too busy. So I'm just walking through the store, making my way to the book section. I'll show you what is on offer and I'll see if there's anything new that looks any good. anything that's good on the cheeks. So these two I've seen before, they're just books that I'm not interested in. Oh, but there's another one down here. Uh, Ruin Beach. Okay, I hit the jackpot. I picked up four books and one of them was on sale, which is good. Um, I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna grab these books and then I'm gonna head off. Please place item in the bagging area. If you have a flybys card, please scan it now. If you have a flybys card, place item in the bagging area. Okay, shopping all finished. I got my handy dandy books. And now I'm gonna head home. I tried to film me scanning my books. It was just so awkward trying to do that, so I don't know if I'll be vlogging in public anytime soon again. Okay guys, I'm just sitting on my bed, that's why I'm so low. I don't know if I can adjust that a bit. Okay guys, I just got home. Sorry about the mess of my bedroom, but I just want to quickly show you what I bought. It's about four o'clock now and I'm so tired. The first book that I got um, is at the wolf's table and this was on sale for twelve dollars the next one i got was the neighbor by fiona cummins and then i finally broke down after seeing this literally everywhere and hearing good reviews city of girls by elizabeth gilbert i did not like eat pray love um which is why i held out and getting this for so long but you know it's everywhere and the sun off actually sounds good and it's fiction not non-fiction so we'll see how it goes and the last one I got is The Last House by Megan Miranda. I've heard of Megan Miranda before, possibly, on booktube. Have I? I'm not sure. So it was so awkward trying to vlog in Kmart. Like, I was so awkward. And I don't know if I would, if I managed to get any decent footage. If I did, I will include it before this clip. Um, so right now, I'm going to go put the heater on. I might have to lie down for a minute because I'm pretty tired. Then I might try and do some editing and then get started on my new book. 
which I hauled this morning. Um, what I've got you here, last night I finished Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Um, it took me a long time to get into this book, like over a hundred, like over a hundred pages. And I'm torn about how to rate it. I'm thinking 3.5. Um, I did really enjoy it after that sort of 150 pages, but I don't know. I think the reason I liked it is because I could see a lot of similarities between myself and Eleanor. Like, um, you know, we both had time off work because of anxiety and depression. We, um, you know, were going back to work and dealing with those sorts of things. Um, social awkwardness and things like that. Reading, I don't know. I just saw a lot of similarities between myself and Eleanor. Um, I think that's why I liked it, but then the actual story, I'm not sure. So I'm going to have a think about that and then I might write up my review tonight. Um, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later, maybe when I'm cooking dinner or something. It's about four o'clock now, as I said before. Um, and yeah, I might let you go and I'll talk to you soon. Hi guys, so it's about an hour later and I'm just sitting here in my dressing gown because it's freezing. And I'm just doing some editing. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to upload another haul or maybe this video or a tag video. I haven't decided yet. Tell me what kind of videos down below that you that you enjoy seeing so I know to film more of those. I really want to engage my audience. I know there aren't a lot of you just yet. I'm hoping that grows. But, you know, the all 11 subscribers that I currently have, I want to please you. So let me know what kind of videos you like. So here's the video that I'm currently editing. I was heard leaving the warehouse and- Okay guys, I'm kind of a mess right now because I'm so tired. Um, I'm going to sign off for the night because I'm in my pajamas and it's like 8 o'clock. Um, I just finished editing a new video but my computer died and guess what? I realized I left not the cable for my charger, but the actual adapter at work. So I'm getting my IKEA delivery tomorrow, so I can't actually go and get it. So I'm either gonna have to go down to JB Hi-Fi and buy a new charger, or try and figure out how to charge my computer without a charger, or just live without my laptop until Thursday. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm sorry that I'm in my pajamas. This isn't normal for me. Um, but I'm exhausted. And I will see you soon. Have a lovely night. Bye.